Animating text like this can be challenging, but this tutorial will help you how to do that. This kinetic typography animation is done entirely using After Effects and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and here you can see that I have already imported this image. Now it's completely up to you, you can use whatever image you want, just make sure that it has a transparent background and just import it in After Effects and you are ready to go. So we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 19, 20 by 10, 80 frame rate 30 fps. Duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's drag our image into the composition like that. Now first I'm going to create a background. So right click new, let's add a solid and I'm going to make this one like a little bit off white, something like that. Just click on OK. I'm going to place this down below and let's lock this layer so that we don't accidentally move it and we can lock this as well. Perfect. Now we are ready to add our text around this image. So for that, we can select the text tool and just simply click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type animating. It's quite big. So I'm going to like make it smaller and I'm using this Montserrat black font. Again, it's completely up to you. You can use whatever font you want. So once you're done with this, we are ready to align it around this image. So for that, we have to create a mask. So let's just simply select the pen tool. Now make sure that this image, this text layer is selected. And after that, I'm going to like roughly draw a mask that goes around this image so for that we can like click over here we don't have to be like very precise so just simply click and just move it like that you don't have to be precise again so just create a very rough outline perfect so once you're done with this we can like simply go inside this and let's go under the mask and you can see we have this mask. Sometimes you won't be able to see the mask. So in that case, you have you can change its color to whatever you want. Sometimes it will be white. So you won't be able to see it like that. So you can just change the color. Now in order to align the text, we can go inside the text. Here we have this path option. Let's select the mask one, which we just created. Now you will notice that our text will align itself. Now there are a couple of things. So you can like invert the path. So if I turn this on, you can see that now the text is like inside. If I turn this off, the text will be outside. Again, it's completely up to you. Now there are a couple of more things. So we can like align force alignment. Now it will like start from where the task begins and where it ends, but we can like leave it off. And here we have this first margin. Now it basically means that where you want to place your text. So you can like place it at this point or you can like place somewhere around here as well. Again, this is completely up to you. Let's place it somewhere around here. Now you will notice one more thing that sometimes the characters will overlap. So in that case, you can like simply select the path and you can play around with it like that to like make them appear nice, something like that. Also, you can add some distance between the letters so you can select all of these and under the characters panel, we have this option so you can like just increase it a little bit. Now here you can see we have these characters and they are at some distance, but for this one, I'm going to like leave it to zero. And we can instead play around with the curves like that. Let's play around with the first margin. So here I am happy with what we have over here like that. Now in the same way, we can create our next text as well. So let's select this, press control D to duplicate this and we can select this one and let's just type our other text. Let's just simply type text and I'm going to change its size. Let's make it like quite big. Now we have to align it to this path as well. So for that, again, we can like place it wherever you want. Now you can just simply select these endpoints and just align them however you want. So let's align them. If you want, you can delete any power point as well. So hold down the control key. You can see that the cursor will change. Now if I click, you can see that it will remove it. Now here you can see we have aligned the text as well. Perfect. Now again, if you want, you can play around with the first margin, to like move it like a little bit ahead. I think this looks good. Now let's select this, press control D. Now let's add one more text. Now I'm going to quickly change this to like, and let's just simply select this and let's change its color as well. Like that. Now we can play, change its position. So let's select this and we can like simply move these points. There you go. Now we have created this path and our text is already aligned. Now there is one more thing. Now if I, if we have to animate this out, so if I open the text, text path, you can see that if I 
animated using the first margin you can see that our text will like appear from here but we want it to like come from this side so that it's moving along this image so in order to do that what we can do is we can like we are our path is like perfect over here but we can extend it so let me just quickly move it like a little bit over here and we can extend it by simply moving it to this point like that now if i in animate it you can see that now our text will like come from this side and then we can like align it wherever we want so i think this position looks good perfect so here we have our next text now in the same way you can like keep on adding text around this so let's select this like and press ctrl d and let's change the text to this and quickly i'm going to change its color as well now we can move the curves now we can delete couple of these so let's delete this point so here we have these smooth curves perfect so here we have our next text as well now in the same way you can like keep on going and keep on adding text around this image and i will come back once it is done so here I have added all the text layers. You can see that they are nicely arranged around this image. You can be creative, like make a couple of these texts like really big and some of these like really small like this. And once we're done with this, we are ready to animate them. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. Make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. So for animation, we are going to like select all of these layers and we are going to animate them using the first margin. So let's search for first margin and I'm going to like move little bit ahead. So let's go to somewhere around one second or two second, wherever you want. Let's keep it at one second and I'm going to add keyframe for all of these because this is going to be our final position. Now we can like move these layers ahead and we can like start moving them one by one. So let's bring our first layer, which is this animating. Now we can go to the very beginning and we can like move this animating. You can see that our text will like move away. And I'm going to move it like completely out of this frame. Now if I press play, you can see it will animate in like that. Now after that, this will stop. Now if you want to play around with these keyframes, then you can easy ease them by pressing F9. Then go to the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. And I'm going to like change the graph to look something like that. We can probably like make it a little bit faster in the beginning as well like that now if you're syncing this with the audio then you can play around with the timing of these keyframe if the audio is like very fast so you can like move these keyframes closer so the text will come like very quick now if the audio is like slow then you can like move this away and you can see that it will come something like that now i'm going to like place it somewhere around here because i'm not using any audio for now but you can like sync these with the audios as well. So once you're done with this, we can like bring our next text, which is this one. So for this one, we can either animate it from this side or we can animate it from the other side. You can see that I've already created this path. So I'm going to like animate it from the other side. So you can see we have this keyframe and in the beginning, we can like move it to this portion somewhere around here. Now we can select these keyframes, press F9, and we are going to change the graph to exactly what we did with the animating text. Now if I press play, you can see we have this. Again, you can play around with their timings however you want. I think this looks good. Now let's bring back, bring in the next layer, which is like. And this one, we can also like make it come from this point. So let's move it like that. Now select the keyframes, easy ease them. And just change the curve. And just change the curves to like this for all of these layers. And you can like make them closer like that now let's bring in the next one so here you can see we have this text now again you can play around with their timing you can make them appear however you want so let's move them like closer so if i press play you can see we have these texts coming in and in the same way you can like animate all of these words to animate in into the frame and i will come back once it is done so now I have animated all of these text layers. Now if I press play, you can see we have all of these coming in. And some of these are coming like very quick because these are sync according to a voiceover, which you saw in the preview. So once we're done with this, we can like make this an animation a little bit more interesting by simply having little bit zooms here and there. So for that, we can add a null object. Now we can select all of these layers, including this image. So I'm going to like first unlock this. 
let's select everything and let's parent this to the null now we can select the null and we can press s for scale and p for position let's add keyframes now let's press u and this is going to be a final so i'm going to like move this really far away now in the beginning we can like make it extremely close something like that let's play with its position as well now if i press play you can see we have these coming in and once we have these we can like probably zoom it out a little bit and let's just move it down something like that now let's move like a little bit ahead we have this and somewhere around here we can again zoom in and let's just move it to the top and to the side as well like that so we have this and again we can zoom out let's just set this to 1 110 and let's just move it down below and move it to this side so that we can see will and let's move a little bit ahead again we can like zoom in and let's just place it to this side because we have these texts coming in and let's move a little bit ahead and somewhere around there we can like have our final position now if i press play you can see we have all of these animations like this now in order to make these more interesting we can easy use the keyframes by pressing f9 let's go to the graph and i'm going to like tweak the curves to look something like that now if i press play you can see we have these very nice zooming in and moving animation to our static scene so this is how you can create these kind of animations and at last you can like create whatever kind of typography you want and again you can be very creative you can like have whatever image you want and just keep on adding text around it however you like and after that animate them in and you can have like random zooms something like that to make it more interesting so i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one